Okay, so in this article, I want to talk about the chic Parisian winter capsule wardrobe ideas for women. And I just wanted to go over to Amazon. I don't have an Amazon account, so I make absolutely nothing from this. I'm just, you know, it's just ideas, you know. So I'm just starting the article. So with grays, I said you can't go wrong with a gray palette in Paris. It matches the weather and often the mood. And I said that gray sweaters, gray pants, gray handbags, gray caps are all possible outfit ideas. So let's see if we can find some stuff on Amazon. So if you want to create a winter capsule wardrobe, like a chic Parisian winter capsule wardrobe, I think a gray cashmere sweater will serve you well because Parisians tend to like, you know, like lots of grays and neutral colors like I said and um oh my goodness what just happened here what just happened excuse me <laughs> my computer and I have very very serious issues like I mean it's just a war daily but it just ate it just ate my 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 stuff like it just ate it oh my god oh, let's see if we can find it again oh my god I can't find it again oh here it is so this is on Amazon and it's $29.99, right? So I would recommend that. This cute gray bag by Saint Laurent is something that a lot of Parisian girls would definitely wear. If, if it's your budget, 1100 is a lot. Okay, now let's say it's not a, your budget. Let's see if we see anything else that we could recommend in gray. If you're going to go with a gray palette, something very... Um, tendons. Well, this is very trendy, but the you know this is trendy. Oh, it's it, once again it's Yves Saint Laurent. It's Yves Saint Laurent. So okay, so Parisian women they tend to, in my opinion, in my observation, you know, they like mostly jeans. You know, especially women of a certain age. You know, but a lot of them are also very comfortable in loose fitting trousers and you know brands like asos and sandro and um these are not french brands sandro might be french but it's not necessarily the frenchness of the brand as it is just the different possible styles and cuts no i don't think that would be a french girl's look but this might be depending on her age right um yeah i mean they like gray um gray a gray palette in the winter and you could wear this you don't have to put on all gray but if you put on a, a gray cashmere sweater with this then you could maybe put like a, a long black coat with it and either sneakers or loafers or something like that with a cross body bag it's very very cool very hip so this is on pinterest and you've got the long black coat with gray pants look um or the gray coat with black i mean a lot of parisians like that look as well um so you know that's um this is all on pinterest okay so i'm looking more for a black coat so this is very nice and it's got the pinstripes which is very interesting to be like stay contacté, like relaxed and chic all at the same time um with your capsule wardrobe okay we're trying to build a capsule wardrobe here don't forget i keep forgetting what the objective is <laughs> look at this from h and m i mean this is very classic and um in terms of building a, a capsule chic winter wardrobe you know or even if you are sort of just coming on holiday in paris right and so you're like oh my gosh how do i what do I wear? I want to be chic. You know, I look like this is very chic. Um, yeah. <laughs> in my opinion, in my opinion. I'm not a fashionista, okay? So it's just my opinion. So yeah, you can't go wrong with a sweater like this from like Cezanne. Or if not, say if that's too pricey, there are other, you know, other versions of this sweater everywhere pretty much. So that, um, you know, the beige sweater is a nice look 
in Paris. You know, if you're building a capsule wardrobe or if you're traveling to Paris with a capsule wardrobe, definitely a sweater with some a striped sweater with a beige background. You just can't go wrong, girl. <laughs> you just can't go wrong, girl. Now, you may prefer a darker background. That's okay, too. But um, I think that um, maybe the beige is a little bit more quintessentially Parisian, right? And and you can get that on French websites, but you can also get them on, you know, international websites like Zalando and so Zalando is a is that an international I don't know what it is but it's French I don't know whatever just get it that's just really it just get it okay <laughs> that's that <laughs> I think a, a wardrobe that but that has some brown elements in it would also be very nice in Paris okay um so I mean yes you have the gray cashmere the gray pants and so on and you're like well how can I wear um gray with with brown and look it's really a question of the moment and what goes with what, but everything doesn't have to go with everything. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think a brown element is really nice in Paris in the winter time, like tweed, you know, like this jacket with your jeans, because I do say you should wear your jeans. I mean, look at how she looks in, in a museum. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous, right? And the man too, your your man or your whatever, or if you, or the man standing alone. I mean, whatever. Brown is really nice with denim, for example. And even if you know the gray cashmere sweater may not necessarily go with the brown tweed, everything doesn't have. You don't. You're not going to wear your entire wardrobe all together at the same time. And you would be surprised, frankly, that it might go together. You know. So it's really a question of using your imagination. But I think. Something brown is always very nice in the winter in Paris. And brown velvet is really nice. Look at that. Gorgeous. So what is this website? This is just a Google search, really. And, um, you know, so you have many different. You have Ralph Lauren, Rouge, George, George Rush. I've never heard of Rush or Rec. I've never heard of these designers, but yeah. They are all very, very nice. But the idea is just, you know, just ideas, you know. Um, yeah. Like I may or may not have said, um, loafer. I mean, loafers are kind of in at the moment. I mean, Parisian women, a lot of them, especially the young ones, but even some who are not so young and men, um, they like sneakers, you know. So you're going to find them in sneakers a lot. But this year, I would say that the loafer is definitely happening in Paris, perhaps even more than the ballet flats. So if you're building a capsule wardrobe this year, um, you can't go wrong with adding a pair of loafers in it. If you're, like if you're traveling to Paris and you have the, the room in your, your, your suitcase, get some loafers, you know. These are really nice right here um, because... They look really nice with your tweed jacket, with your pants, with your skirt, with your jeans, you know, very, very fresh. And with your long black coat, I mean, just really, really cool, you know, so why not? So white sneakers are, I think, an essential part of the Parisian winter wardrobe you know, the chic wardrobe, perhaps a little less so than say a few years ago when it was just absolutely, if you don't have it on, like, I mean, right away, they know that you're not from this part of town. Like what's wrong with you? Where's your stark white sneaker? Okay. I don't know how they keep these sneakers that white because it was just like not a speck on any of these sneakers. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. Do they bleach the sneakers? It's just insane. Do they toss them out after one wear? I have no idea. So to a lesser extent now, but still I think very much, um, very much today as always, um, you need to have a pair of white sneakers in the winter, perhaps all year, but even in the winter, they, they wear these white sneakers 
and um the brands are usually like adidas um nike i mean i would have to ask my teenage students really but because god almighty i don't want to get this wrong but yeah see the gray pants with the white sneakers the long coat this is this is how you start to see my personality when my computer starts to act up i become completely crazy because i mean i can't i don't have the patience but yeah you you need to have the white sneakers with you know these women are all are wearing white sneakers so you want to be chic i mean you know it's the baggy pants with the white sneakers it's the jeans with the white sneakers it's it's just everything with the white sneakers, right? I mean, perhaps you even sleep in your white sneakers because you're it's like essential, right? So if you're building a capsule wardrobe, it's not complete without white sneakers if you're in Paris. All right, we also have the cream sweater, which is very big, I think, in the water. It looks really nice during the day, but it also looks really nice at, at night, I think. Night could be six o'clock in the winter time to be clear because you know i'm not a big you know i don't know what really goes on you know after certain hours in paris <laughs> but yeah at, at six o'clock you're walking home people are at the cafes near the the eiffel tower and a lot of people are wearing like you know a chunky white you know or, or beige sweater if you will um and and there are many different price points to choose from as you can see and they look really really nice um right look at this one i mean it's gorgeous i mean it's 19 euro what is this it's 16 euros i mean okay it worries me a little bit i mean will it survive a wash but you know depending on your budget you you just have to to pick and this one is a little bit um uh, festive if you will so this time of year this is very nice you know a little festive element to your beige sweater is not a bad idea and that's true for both men and women as well um in terms of building a, a wardrobe ca a capsule wardrobe you put this with your brown tweeds you put this with your jeans you put this with your long black coat um you know it fits in with just everything right just everything you just can't go wrong with a beige sweater if you're building a capsule wardrobe or if you're visiting fronts with a capsule look that's classic, refined, and just timeless and elegant. I mean, you know, or even if it's the opposite of all of that, you, you still can't go wrong, I don't think. You need a good pair of jeans, okay, um, period, or two or three, I mean, you know, a capsule water in Paris in winter everybody wears jeans it doesn't matter how old they are they wear jeans and it's such a great even for the tops they're great layering pieces you have this on even with the jacket you put a wool coat over the jacket it would be so cool um, you put a cashmere sweater under the shirt um, it's very nice you absolutely need denim to build a capsule wardrobe, a winter capsule wardrobe in Paris. And, you know, the cut is up to you, obviously. Depending on your body type, you need to figure that out for yourself. And, um, yeah, whether it will be low-waisted, high-waisted, wide legs, skin tight, ripped, whatever, I'm not sure. But you will just have to figure that out. This is a Google search denim for women. And yeah, that's a part of the capsule. So guys, if you're building a capsule wardrobe and you really want to be chic, get a nice cap. Uh, you know, you can wear this everywhere, whether to gym or to walk your dog or to um, meet your friends at a cafe. You know, it's really just whether you're male, whether you're female. I mean, everybody seems to like caps and they seem to like these um these yankees caps which is interesting i had no idea they like others as well but i see a lot of people in yankees caps so 
yeah, I would say that should be part of your capsule wardrobe. You know, you wear this with your long coats, your cashmere sweater, your sneakers, um, your crossbody bag. You know, it's it's all good. All right, and so the crossbody bag is also kind of very chic with the girls these days, and um, they like to have these crossbody bags with their coats and so there's so many to choose from and um i mean it shouldn't be your only bag i mean you should have a versatile collection obviously they don't have to be designer what you know 44,000 4400 euros unless you can afford it if you can afford it why not but they need to be at least there needs to be at least one crossbody bag in your wardrobe if you want to create sort of this chic capsule winter wardrobe okay i think that's it for now right i mean what have i forgotten did i give you a coat i don't know if i gave you a coat so the winter coat so huh i would say anything that's black gray or brown you should be able to get away with it in paris okay and i think um Coats that fall below your, your knee are really cool this year, right? With your jeans, with your work clothes. And, uh, but, you know, it's it's up to you and what your taste is and what you think you, you look nice in. A brown coat like this, we saw this picture before. You know, yeah, that you can wear a puff jacket too. I mean, some women wear the puff coats, which look very nice. It, it's all very... Um, it, it depends. It's just a question of, okay, if you're building this capsule, something very tight that you, you just pick from it daily without thinking. Um, I just think one long, elegant, black, beige, gray coat, my wool coat might, might work really well um, and might be more versatile. But there's so much to look at. Which one is this? Parisian winter coat capsule. This is what I just searched on Google. And these are the images I'm getting back. And uh, I'm just using these images, obviously, to sort of re do a sort of review or commentary. And um, yes, that will be that. So I think we'll stop here for this particular video. So I hope you liked it. Take care.